Lexus, i.e. posh Toyota, not known for their electric car kind of shenanigans. They, they, they don't see them as the future, they see hydrogen as the future, but they're still releasing cars. So this has been out a while, but it's had a recent upgrade in terms of, well, various specifications, and it's now got a bigger battery size. So let's concentrate on the aesthetics first and all the usual stuff before we take it out. But for me, am I getting a car from a car manufacturer that doesn't believe in electric vehicles providing me with a, an electric vehicle? Well, it's clearly a Lexus from the front. It's got the family grille, the sharp angles, the headlights, the fake sort of air vents either side. It is an EV, so I guess it doesn't need it all, but it's very busy. I don't mind design flair or touches. It's just, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. It looks like someone's wedged it between two cars like that, and it's gone, Boop. is this a hatch? Is it an SUV? Probably crossover is fairer. I'd, again, the design language is very confusing. You've got the swoop, which, yeah, I don't mind that. Up going all along the side, you've got this kind of fin at the rear, which I'll show you in a second. And then you've got this very weird wing. You've got good clearance in the arches. I mean, if you want to inspect your springs, you're in luck. All right, I not necessarily mind that. You don't have to look like a, a low rider or anything. I just think it's a very weird design language. I, just can't gel with it and I like Lexus I like what they've done over the years some of the cars have been fantastic the support the customer service is second to none from what every owner pretty much tells you this could be any brand it could be anything I don't, I don't feel like I'm looking at a premium car let me now tell you about a significant issue with this car and anyone that buys a brand new Nissan Leaf will kind of know what I'm talking about this is an expensive car it's got a 70 odd kilowatt hour battery, that's very large. So what CCS charging do you think it's got? It doesn't, it has... Chadamo. Who is bringing out a Chadamo car in 2023 in Europe? Even Nissan have ditched it on all their new cars for CCS. Half of the chargers, Ionity, a lot of the, well basically most of the hyperchargers now are faster chargers, do not have Chadamo. You have the bumper sticking out a bit, good for protection, I like that. The light bar, I don't mind that either. These light fins, maybe it's an aero thing. Okay, I'll live with that. You've just got angles all over the place and it's messy. I feel like somebody's designed this with a hetcher sketch. Maybe the boots are saving grace. That's not bad. That's actually a lot larger than I expected quite deep very nice carpet you know that's very usable bit of storage for your cables yeah for, for a compact family car for an SUV that, that's actually a good size boot it's not just me is it I mean, Harry what do you think I'm not taking these really dark sunglasses off <laughs> I don't want to look at it so the AC charging's on the opposite side to the Chadabo charging which I guess there's nothing wrong with that but you could all put it in one place with CCS I mean I know it's a Japanese thing using Chadamo, but We've got two charging flaps. For... As this is a Lexus, I expect build quality. I'm getting that in the steering wheel and the buttons. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I could live with that. That's not too bad at all. It's soft-ish. That's nice. It's kind of a leatherette. Ooh, this is like a brushed metal appearance. The buttons are solid. Everything you touch is definitely of a good... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, like that. Ooh, that's nice. What's that like? That's really nice, yeah. Oh, good. In fact, whilst we're here, should we do the glove box? Let's see. How do we... Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's got a little place for this to go. Okay. So I it's can, yeah. usable, usable. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. I like that. So this is nice and easy to read. I like that. That's good. There is a lot of buttons here, though, if I look back here. But buttons are where we do have at least some benefit here. Look, buttons to affect change of the climate control. And then you've got this huge screen for sat-nav. And you know what? It's the same as the Toyota Subaru thing. 
which isn't great. I mean, look at the space that's wasted. You've got two things there and all this is dead space. 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour we've been getting, which is not great. And it's mild weather. And obviously CarPlay and whatnot will take care of most things. Here we have a very nice effect. Brushed metal, good uh, build quality again. Uh, drive, reverse. So we have to kind of dog leg it a little bit to get into drive. Park, of course. Heated seats and a little bit of uh, cooling going on too. Uh, decent cup holders. Place for your phone there in terms of wireless charging and some USB-Cs. This armrest is nice. Very nice to feel and easy to get into. It's quite deep. You've got, again, some USB in 12 volt. Uh, only it's not exactly designed for the passenger to get into I'll it. just have a look in there. <laughs> uh, down here though. Oh, hello. Uh, Hardware in plastic, which you wouldn't expect on... Uh, well, a Lexus. Now, this is uh, an expensive premium car, so can you open the sunroof for me? I it's will, nice it actually has one. It's silent. <laughs> Hand operated, but you can op open, fully open the sunroof. It's not just a panoramic roof, you know, it's, you can fully open it's it. It's old school. Yeah, yeah, you don't often get a proper sunroof these days, no. do you? <laughs> you just bang your head. I just banged my head. It's very small, actually. Um... And this chair's in the position that you were sat in for a comfortable position, yeah, but yeah. not you know, it's not far back in no. any way, shape or form. My head is literally on the roof, and there's a transmission tunnel there, so I can't spread my legs that far in the back. So kids only in the back? I'd say kids only in the back. They are, they're heated, you know, heated seats in the back, have a look of it, there's some option down here. So the build quality is as expected, bar a couple of bits. It's a nice interior, Yeah. solid, I mean, granite solid. I tell you uh, what, the interior is a hell of a lot better than the exterior. Yeah, the exterior, I just, I, it's very rare I say, I do not, I just, I'm sorry, I, I just don't like it, but in this one it's very odd. You played that game when you, had a, you know, with your kids or when you were a kid, where you, you draw like a, a face and then you fold it over and someone yeah. else draws the body. It's just a bit, a little bit like that, well, isn't they've it? done it's it with bit... every body panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and none of it gels up. And the Chadamo decision. Why on earth would you do that? I mean, I get it, it's a, Chi a Japanese well, car. But you'd at but... least develop... I mean, I, I think this, is, this was never intended for UK market. Maybe that's it, it's just sold here because... They do a right-hand drive. How much does it cost? Is it 48, this one? Yeah, now they've upped the battery. So this is a 72, I think 71, 72 kilowatt hour battery, which is big, which can charge it up to, I think, 120 kilowatt Chadamo. Yeah of all places. I mean, I could probably count on one hand how many Where above 50 be? Chadamo chargers there are. So that's well, going to be really a gonna have to pain. Your journeys. Oh, it's going to be a complete total pain in the butt. You couldn't just pull into anywhere and expect to charge because a lot aren't including Chadamo on the chargers anymore. Or you could have just bought a Tesla. Or anything else. Yeah, yeah, anything else, yeah. All Japanese manufacturers are putting CCS in now. Yeah. The Leaf is the exception because it's an old model that's just they just Old. keep yeah, flogging it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, you know, the Aria, Nissan, Japanese, CCS. Yeah. Because they know that to do anything otherwise would be silly. This is a, a car that I would not take on long journeys without, like I say, planning well, it in advance. There's no point having it then, is there? You know, I'm going to say 170 to 220 mile range. 192 miles left. With? Uh, three, just below three, three quarters. quarters. Yeah. But this has just been tootling around. Has, yeah. So don't get me wrong, that's the average. What we just said is the average. You could get more than that around yeah, here for yeah, just yeah. stuff like this, like you can in any car. I would, you know, I'd be comfortable in taking a long journey. This is a very comfortable car. Yeah. The seats are nice. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely. Steering wheel feels lovely. That's yep. one positive thing about this. The build quality is really nice. I love the use of this pretend, this fake metal here. Yeah, yeah I like Plastic, that. Plastic. It's better it, than it, glossy black, it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Where the bloody hell are we? I don't know, but I feel like there are footballers living in these houses and we're about to get Ask shot. <laughs> we're in Alexi though, so yeah, we should yeah. be all right. They won't instantly oh, jump on us. We're, we're lost. <laughs> yes. We just need to put it in uh, reverse by mistake and go through uh, the garage. <laughs> these are Mass. immensely expensive houses. Yeah. And what car do you see on the drive up? MG4. An MG4? Yeah. All right then, so this starts at 48. How much that sheet on the bottom does this particular press car cost? This, oh my days. I don't want to say it. £57,000 and 95 quid. Uh, it's not fast. 7.5 to 62. They reckon you'll get 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour on the WLTP scale. 
which means it's realistically lower than that, yeah. as we said. Which is what we're experiencing. So it's not the most efficient vehicle in the world. I mean, that really does make me think, who is buying this? I mean, let's say it's close to £60,000. You could get two MG4s. Yeah. Which are a lot more practical. <laughs> and could charge. Yeah, and you get people in the back better than this. The, the, I tell you, no one is getting behind you. Company car, who will then experience the charging network on Chadamore and go, these electric cars are crap. Yeah. I honestly do not know how this got to be sold. The, ser the, the service the will UK. be brilliant, though, won't it? Well, yeah, when you ring up and say, I'm afraid I've, I've run out of juice again. Yeah. Don't worry about that, sir. We'll come and get you. The, all the things that you touch are just really nice. Oh, yeah, they've got no problem with that. That there, mm. the dash, that's beautiful, is that? Manufacturers could definitely learn a thing or two about this. And I quite like the fact that, although it only comes with a three-year warranty, you do get an extra year, like Toyota, oh, yeah, yeah. with every service. Yeah. So, in theory, I think you can go it's up to the ten-year. Ten but I ask you this... Let me just put it in park for a second, mm -hmm. just so I don't accidentally launch us forward when I you know, think about what I'm saying. <clears throat> you have this car and you think, I can warranty this for 10 years. Peace of mind, all done. Mm -hmm. What will this be like to live with, with Chadamore, 10 years from now? Impossible. Where, where it was practically, it probably won't it, even exist. Absolutely impossible. It's going to be a short range car. You won't be at a rapid charge in all but... 10% of charging points 10 years from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be pointless. Because yeah. it's, it's, a, it's, a stand, it's a dead standard. It's, it's beta be, max. It's going to be home and back, isn't it? Home and back. Home and back. Giving it the Chadamo, and I know we keep banging on about it, but this is a big deal. Given the fact it's got that, this is essentially almost a non-rapid charging car. Yeah. That I'm costs £57,000. Lost, lost for words. Lost for words. And then you'll come out of your house... And have to look at it. Stunning, yeah, and you have to look at it. You'll Even never, worse, your neighbours will have to look at it. It's like he had to design a car, but using like 1980s vector gaming graphics. <laughs> yeah. It's really quiet. I'll, it give, is. I'll give it that. I mean, this is super quiet. So that, that, that's part of what you're buying into, isn't it? That, Which that means refinement. that when you do run out of juice and you're crying and screaming on the inside, nobody bit here outside. I actually like the quite, way it drives. It does feel quite quick. Yeah, I like the way it drives. This is a nice car to drive. Yeah. I would say it's not a driver's car, but it's not far off. Do you think the only people buying this then? Are uh, people who have Lexuses or Lexi? <laughs> it's Alan Partridge. Yeah, that's the only people buying this. But no, they have a, they have a very loyal fan base, don't they? It's got to be, hasn't it? Um, which it, yeah, uh, uh, fine. But if this is your experience of an electric vehicle, I'm sorry. I can understand why the Daily Mail don't like them. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe everyone at the Daily Mail just owns Lexis. Yeah, we've got these like, amazing oh my God, company this charge cars. network's awful. Yeah. It's well, well past the luxury car bracket, which well, well we now past. have to talk about because it's coming in a year and a bit. Yeah. The price is just... If you'd bought it and somebody asked you, I wouldn't want to tell them. <laughs> it's... <coughs> it's... It's how much? Did you just say £60,000? Yep. Of all the cars available at this sort of price bracket, this one probably comes in at the bottom in terms of what I would recommend to it's people. almost like the company doesn't like electric vehicles. Yeah, which is like strange, isn't it? Because we'd sort of got that from the uh, <laughs> Subaru-Toyota Subaru collaboration. Yeah. Flappy paddle region yep. is a cracking idea. And a lot of EVs don't have them, but this does. <laughs> Rides really nicely. It's firm, but not too firm. It's well judged. It, it is a really nice car. Let's be positive for a second, shall we? Yeah. Um, I, I really like been behind the wheel. Yeah. So a company car then, is that is that where this sits? I don't even think then no, would you take it as a company car? Well given the other options, no. And again the the, the long distance driving issues that we've mentioned. I just can't see a point in this car. I really struggle to see. That's funny, neither can Toyota. No. <laughs> I, I, it's just why have they done this? That's what I'm asking myself. Maybe that's why I'm, I'm so harsh on it. It this could have been brilliant. It could have been so much, yeah. Yeah. Ignoring the price. Which, you, yeah, you expect to pay from a, a Lexi. The looks, fair enough. That, yeah. The looks for me are a, a definite yeah. turn off. But, but some people might like it. Yeah. So effectively, it's just the CCS and it's slightly efficiency that needs a bit tweaking. Mm -hmm. um, and as a premium purchase, it, it could have been, could have been really it good. Could have, they could have done so much more, couldn't they? Yeah. I, I just. Given the package it's arrived in, I just find it really difficult to understand. Yeah. Effectively, they've handicapped the entire car with one yeah. poor choice. Yep. Yeah. And you can't tell me they couldn't have swapped the charge port over. 
Tesla do that on the Model S's yeah, yeah, to give you CCS's on old cars. It it's something that just, the thought, forget it, doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, is there anyone in the comment section that's actually got one of these? And if so, uh, yeah, just to help me understand, why did you... Yeah, what a company was the car? It's got to be a company car. No one's going to spend four... I mean, granted, they did a smaller battery version before the 20, this 2023 one. 50 odd, I think it was. Mm. That'd be even worse, I guess, because you won't have the range to go with the no, home charging not, only. It's not efficient by any stretch, is it? Right, so I was going to say it this time, would you rather? I would rather have anything. There's no point, is there? Genuinely, there's no point in saying, what about this, what no. about this, what about this? No, no, no. Performance Model 3 or Y, oh, without Polestar a doubt. 2. Without a doubt, and I didn't really glue with that. <clears throat> Genesis GV60. Oh, God. Yeah. Same price as the car we're sat in. Right, um, so let's finish there before we end up just... Going over it again and again. Well, yeah, we, we, I find myself just going over the same thing. We've probably said it three or four times and I've probably edited out loads of stuff. Yeah. Where we've repeated ourselves. But that's how we just... It's unbelievable. It's just like the Subaru. Good car. Yeah. Bad EV. Yeah. Right, uh, do you know what isn't a bad channel? Zzz. Let <laughs> me have a think. Is it driving home? Oh, Yeah. But you can only access driving home if you use an Apple Mac from 1980. Like ah. Chad, oh. <laughs> Let's just end it there because I don't think there's any, I don't think there's anyone watching this stuff. I don't think, no, no. I think they turned off when we opened up the charge port. In fact, if there is anybody watching this, what should we get them to type in the comments section? Oh, no, no, not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Beta Max.